So a couple of weeks ago I said the DJI Action 4 was on the way because they released some new accessories for the Action 3 and it didn't really make sense that they didn't change the sort of the design, the mounting system and all those kind of things. It just made sense to me that the Action 4 was on the way and it is, it's here. The DJI Action 4 was released today and it looks like a good upgrade. I've seen some footage from a couple of other videos on the internet already. Danny Black, my mate from Australia, has done a really good couple of videos and he's really been really impressed with the image quality out of this new camera. I haven't got it yet, I've pre-ordered it, it's on the way, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm gonna be comparing it against the GoPro 11, the Action 3, and even the Go 3, which was released about three, four weeks ago now. So we've got a new sensor, it's a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which means it's very close to a one inch sensor now, compared to the GoPro, which is a one over 1.9 inch, which is closer to a half inch sensor. So the low light capability is gonna be loads better on the Action 4 and from the video I've seen, the examples I've seen, it is a lot better, a lot crisper and the image is very good. It's still 4K, it's not the 5.3K you get in the GoPro so that is the only advantage. If I was going to call this a football match between these new cameras, the Action 4 and the GoPro 11, it would be like a, a 5.1 or 6.1 to the DJI Action 4. The only advantage you've got with the GoPro at the moment that I can see is the fact that it can crop in to the image because you've got that 5.3K, more resolution, more pixels, and you can get in a little bit closer and the resolution sort of stays the same. Apart from that, they've kept all the same features from this. It's a very slight design change. You've got some different ports on the top for the water drainage and the audio, very slight redesign, and then it's like a darker color. The sensor is obviously bigger. They've improved that apart from that. It's pretty much the same. You've still got the color sensor. You've still got the touch screen on the front and on the back. The menu controls are very, uh, very smooth. I've been really impressed with using this probably my favorite action camera on the market and they've just made it even better with that bigger sensor so gopro have got some real problems on their hands with insta360 absolutely battering the market with some really great cameras dji up in the game with the new action 4 and the bigger sensor and the already better user experience in my opinion with this camera it's just so much better than the gopro they've got to really up the game i've seen some rumors of an edge-to-edge -edge display i've heard rumors of 8k 60 4k 240 6k 60 uh, there's loads of rumors on the internet i don't particularly believe all of them i think you'll see a generational upgrade again with the 12. they have to do some different things with this camera this year if not next year to survive in my opinion i think they have to go one inch and just make sure that the image quality is still superior compared to the other action cameras on the market so it's an interesting time um but i am going to be getting the action 4 to compare it to the old one the gopro and the other cameras my favorite camera at the moment is this go 3 i know it's only 2.7k but the things that this can do it's got the flip up screen here which no other camera has on the market you can take this camera out to mount it in different positions magnetic and this is sort of a preview screen on there it's still connected to the it's just a great camera um, and it's got sort of a similar mounting system as the dji so these two at the moment would be my pick my buy if you're after an action camera the gopro still has sort of the higher resolution but to me no longer with the arrival of the Action 4, no longer the best image quality. I think the Action 4 at the moment is the new king of action cameras. GoPro have really got to step it up. It's gonna be a really interesting month. We'll see in September when GoPro release their new camera. And don't forget about the Action 3. The Action 3 is still about, it's a 360 camera, but you can use it in single lens mode. It's still 4K, still got flow state. This thing is phenomenal. It's probably the camera I pick up most out of all the action cameras when I leave the house. So man, we've got some videos coming soon. Stay tuned, subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I've got so much work to do, but I'm doing my best to keep you updated on all the things that are coming soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, there'll be lots of videos coming really soon. Okay, that's it for this one. I shall see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye guys. Thank you.